Go double G, you see? 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 What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Tap Money coming at y'all. I want to talk about some things today. My car is preferably. See, I got Deadpool sitting up here. All those that ain't seen nobody. Fiberglass. Maybe two coats. Not too heavy, just right. Twenty two hundred Sidewinder Castle. And you see what I did here. What I did was I tried to reinforce the chassis because that carbon fiber chassis was not strong enough at all. So what I did was I took aluminum or oh, metal bit. It might be metal plate. Drilled holes in it and braced it on there and then I drilled the um body the blah, 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 motor mount into that hey right? so it gives it that metal on metal feel you know what i mean now it's nice and sturdy up in there it's not wobbling to that ready and shout out my man rc world 33 this car is looking badass I um, stripped out the two bird gears that I got from him. Uh, well, it was stripped out anyway. But I stripped them out. So I gotta get a metal spur gear done up, good brother. Seeing your um, message. I'm gonna be waiting on that one. But I drilled out one. So I basically got the concept. I um, had a 54 to 32 pitch um, spur gear sitting around. So I measured it up and I cut the little smooth parts, well, the little, you know, hump parts that be on there for the screw. Cut them off, filed it down nice and smooth on both sides and put it together and it works, works perfectly. 54 to um, 32 pit. That's a mod one pinion gear. So what I gotta do is take this off and um, find a 32 pit pinion gear with a five millimeter board. That a pit. This is a thing to do 26. If I'm not mistaken. I think that's 25 or 26 mile long, so, and that's all the way up, if you see, all the way back, can't go back no more, really, so I think, um, I got enough space here for, like, I'll try a 28 to, um, 32 pitch pinion gear with a 5 millimeter bore. And go 2854 and see if that fits nice together and that mesh nice together there. But I got the motor mount up in there if I can see it, hopefully, man. It's pretty straight. Yeah, it's pretty straight up in there. Just waiting on the pinion gear. Waiting to find the pinion gear to fit that gear. So I can get it running. It should pull out nicely off the line with that big old spur gear on there. But so we'll see what happens. But that's my TC 6.1 for now. Uh, I suppose I've been getting with um, that custom fast RC. About the chassis, good brother. I would like to do a aluminum chassis for this and take the carbon fiber chassis off. That would make the motor mount and everything braced to it real good and make a better platform, I think, as well. And I haven't seen one made yet with a aluminum chassis like that. So, you know, maybe we get to working on that. 
that's them charging batteries for um, Mr. High Power 82 2S Challenge. I'm getting ready to go for that again. The weather's nice here. So I'm going to try to hijack a highway or a road real quick and um, get that run in. Last time I hit 62 at half throttle but I really didn't stay in it because it was it was a lot of people out there on that sun, on Sunday and I really couldn't get into it. But I want to do some speed runs with um, Iron Man and um, Emerald City. So those are coming up real soon. I got a um, RPM gearbox here that I'm not going to use. Brand new. And I got some techno um, 12 millimeter hexes with a I think that is an 8 millimeter bore a 6 millimeter bore Man, if anybody need them hit me up let me know contacts back there I gotta keep for this one sorry <laughs> if anybody need that gear box I'll be more than welcome to help out Let's move on. Next, we got Cap. Take the ride. See, we got um, I tuned him all up, tweaked it out. Front nice and stiff. I got the GTR shocks front and rear. Uh, Integer gearbox. I got a Castle 3800 KV four pole motor on there now. Willy Bar, no weights nowhere. You can see um, Mamba Monster, CSC, little cat pack up there. And that's it. Let's go ride. That's special. RPM caster blocks. And that's it, man. I think the last time I ran it, the screw came out of the toe link right on the other side, so I put a longer screw in there so that won't happen no more. But this is ready. Ready to go. And we might go today. We'll see how, the, see how my day go. We might go today. I right, hit that 72 times. I need that plaque to go up there with my other good brothers. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to my 70 plus mile per hour club brothers. Shout out to my downtown and back 100 mile per hour club brothers. Oh yeah, 2017 coming fellas and we gonna get it on. See my little tool set that I got here. You don't have one of these, get one. Hey, right. you need one of these. You really need this. The part number. For sure and clear. There you go. That's the part number for this newer HDT RC2. Alright. Get this. And get one of these too. This one is brand new. Door, door, door tracks. The metal is thicker. It's hexes in there. I'm gonna move on. Drag car ready again. I reinforced the wheels this time on the drag car. I um put washers behind the nuts up in there so they stay nice and flat. Maybe if it hits something, the washer behind the nut will take the impact instead of the rim. But you see, I got the aluminum Willy Bar system on here. Whole whole cage. I think last time I showed y'all it, I got a couple of scratches on the top from me flipping over. Like I said, it's carbon fiber on the inside. The body is, so it's all good. I got to put another coat on it. Take the body up. It wasn't getting no reverse last time, so this is what I did. I put my um, Sidewinder 8 ESC up in there, the cat pack. I figured um, I wasn't going to do too much staging and launching like that with it anyway, so I got a four channel remote for nothing. I could have got the regular one for this. 
Trying to take the body off. One hand of productions work with me. Okay. Yeah, you see our carbon fibers the body out. I still gotta do up there on the top some more. But yeah, that's why it's so stiff. Remember the last time this was cracked, I just went along the top of it, leveled everything out. You know. But that's my beast. This baby rolled. I mean rolled. I had to tweak out my steering a little bit because it kept like, as soon as I got it up to speed, it would like start veering left and right on me. So I messed with my steering a little bit and this time it should take right off in a straight line. See how that side winder eight ESC. See how it fit up in there. Fit pretty good. It's not too much bigger than the, um, the stock ESC that was in here from Traxxas. I used the strap, the zip tie, well the strap anyway, the Velcro strap to hold the cat pack on there nice and tight. So if it flips over again, it doesn't get hit or fling off, you know. So we're gonna see what this baby got. Why is it so blurry? Come on. Focus, there you go. That's the rat ride, baby. Drag car. Ready to go again. Like I said before, the rubber tires that come with this isn't that, they're not that bad once they get warmed up. But before they get warmed up, watch out. They're slippery as all hell. Foams, you can do a burnout real quick and you on. Got the Iron Man back up. These wheels. Got some of these exceeds. Uh, part number. I guess that's a part number there. There you go. Very too sure. Exceed wheels. So I try these this time since the contacts ripped apart on me. They're not that much smaller than the contacts are. Sorry about this. All right. But they look like they got a lot more meat, a lot more grit. So we're gonna try them out. They fit on the rut, they fit on the axle a lot better than the um contact wheel did. It's still contacts in the front. I take some alcohol and clean off the Sticker residue. I took the sticker off so the wheels would match up a little bit better. But Iron Man is ready. I know y'all remember this beast peeling out. I'm gonna do a speed run with that so we can clock this one in and, uh, um, and Emerald City sitting back there ready. I reinforced the motor mount on there so that's ready to go. And I tightened up the pinion gear and locked tight it down. Everything is ready, man. Just wanted to give y'all a quick update. Tap money ready for the next day. Hopefully this weekend we can get down, get some speed runs in, show y'all good brothers some major numbers. Yeah, that's it, man. Got nothing else to share, I guess. Just bored. Wanted to show y'all some that everything is ready. No more reverse problems. You know, the whole time I was racing, I didn't stage it or. All of the switches. They got did that one time with this. Like every other time it was just stop, pull out. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I got the four channel Bluetooth remote. I guess I only need the regular one. What, three channel one? Do anybody need the four channel one with the extra switch at the top? Let me know. You know I'm still using it, but got a different you got the regular one with the blue TQI eye on it you know, we can talk this is that money you know, we do our own thing trying to keep it real trying to keep it 100 with y'all 
any information, any questions, please comment, subscribe, like, you know what I mean? Because we all got haters on our channels. And the haters, I don't know why you watch. I don't know why you take the time out to hit the thumbs down. If you don't like the person, if you don't like the video, don't watch the video. Tap money. Watch.